hi and a very warm welcome to this tarot and oracle card review. Today I am reviewing an oracle card deck called the Goddess Guidance Oracle Cards by Doreen Virtue. There are a number of different artists accredited to this deck and if you want to know who they are go to the wonderful little very informative notebook guidebook that comes with the deck and if you go to the back pages it will list you the net people who were the artists and what cards they actually drew so if you want to know who the actual artists are but this is a 44 card oracle deck by Doreen Virtue as I said it comes to a very informative guidebook at the front of the guidebook there are information about how to consecrate your cards who the cards are the cards are all wonderful goddesses from a multinational goddesses from all different walks of life um, and they all are in alphabetical order but she explains at the beginning how to consecrate your cards how to do a single card reading or if you want to do a spread like using two or three cards it's all in there and then, like I said then it's an individual cards are written up and each card as they're written up has the name of the goddess her meaning so there's a meaning, there's an actual definition of the goddess, a message actually from the goddess herself. This is Erika. So we're talking about this card here, Erika. And as you can see on the card, it's a beautiful image, absolutely beautiful. Also an individual, each artwork, but it just depicts the person. There is a word and this word is blooming. And as you can see, she's depicted as blooming out of flower. Then there is a little affirmation, which says you are just getting started. So have patience with yourself and the process and do not give up. So there is the card, you can actually look at her name concentrate meditate on the word blooming meditate on the image and all the images that are in there meditate on the little wording that is there with her or you can actually open up the book and read the actual message which is from Arakera. and then there is a section of various other meanings of the card so it was saying slow down have patience get involved with gardening and then there is an information on the goddess herself so that's Aracona. So we have actually on the front cover, you will see this amazing goddess and she is Dana, the high priestess. So I like the idea that they've actually used the high priestess as the image on the front of the whole deck. And there you see Dana. She's there, the high priestess with her crown and the gold around her. And she's got a beautiful blue necklace around her throat chakra, which is in saying that she's speaks her truth and this says she's a high priestess and it says you have divine knowledge that can help others through your spiritual teachings so again you would then look up dana which is as i said they're all in alphabetical order so very easy to find and there is dana high priestess the little sentence that was on the card then there's an actual message from dana herself then there are additional meanings to the card and then there is some information on who Dana is so it's an amazing card absolutely love it I love the fact that there's so much on each card we've got a Bandisha here you've got her name you've got the so you can meditate and just call in a Bandisha a Bandisha a Bandisha of course you can guess by her name that she's all the goddess of abundance so it's all about prosperity so you can meditate with prosperity you can just picture that beautiful image it's all gold and rich in colors so you can just sit and meditate with it or you can meditate the universe is pouring its abundance out to you be open to receiving what a beautiful affirmation the universe is pouring its abundance out to you be open to receiving it's a beautiful affirmation and then like i said you would then look in the book find out more information about a bandisha a natural message that's been um meditated down to create for or for you to understand so it's an absolutely amazing deck um i have used it time and time again when i actually want to connect with various goddesses if i haven't actually used the card again you can just flick through and just see where it opens and then you can use use that image and this one's actually opened up on nemitona who's sacred space so we can connect with menatona 
um, and you can just connect, you can just talk to them, you can do a meditation on a journey, or just by reading the message. So you can use this book in many, many different ways. And you can use these cards in so many different ways as well. So I just love this deck, absolutely love it. It is quite an old deck, so you may not be able to get hold of it very easily. But if you love working with all the wonderful, amazing goddesses that are around us, I really recommend this card deck. So I highly recommend and I give it eight out of ten purely because it is quite a hard deck to get hold of because it is quite old. I do hope you've enjoyed this review. Take care. Namaste. Bye.